staff wanted apply within. Oh, I've got just the right people for the job. Right, let me message the guys, see who's about tomorrow, see if they're up for a challenge. Right, Hank's in. Oh, Mammal's in as well. Oh, Ollie even said he's available. This is going to be incredible. Oh, guys, glad you could make it. What are we doing here, Alex? What are we doing here? Well, if you all look over my shoulder, there's a bike shop over there with a nice little sign in the window that says, staff wanted, apply within. So I think, I thought we'd all be perfect for the job. Hank, we need to have a good game plan when we go in. Yeah. So like, what are you going to be good for? Well, not wow. only am I really good at selling bikes, mm. I also know a lot about bike tech, but most importantly, I'm here for the team. I'm a motivational speaker, and I think I'm going to draw everyone together to sell the most bikes. Sounds good to me. Manon, what sort of skills are you going to bring? I'm just all round good at everything, if I'm honest. You know, I don't have one specific oh, area that yeah. I excel in. I'm just all round a great bike sales person. Quite a reserved character as well. Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Perfect. Ollie, what sort of experience have you got? How are you going to help us out for the day? I'm rubbish at most things, but unlike all of you, I have actually worked in a bike shop before. I mean, to me, that sounds incredible. Should we go in? Maybe, like, hopefully what? they'll hire us? I mean, do you think they will? Yeah, they will. We're, we're going to be incredible. Right, let's go. Come on, quick, before we get run over. Yeah, play it cool. Oh, hey. Um, Hi, guys. We've seen the sign out front. We've come, come for the job. I right. think we're up for the job. I mean, look at us. Ollie's perfect. Hank's amazing. Manon knows everything. Yeah. We're going to be ideal. You think sure? Yeah. Well, all right. There's a list of jobs. Crack on. Oh, yeah. You oh, you can look after that. Cool. He's going. What, 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 right. do we, what are you going now? I'm going. Yeah. yeah oh, just, there's a job, cool. list of jobs. Crack on. So where's this list then? All right, guys. I'm taking role of the uh, shop manager today. Yes. Oh. Going to be dishing out the jobs. Wow. Alex, I'm going to put you in the workshop because yeah. you're yeah. the only one that really knows a thing or two about bikes. Fair. We've got Tom coming in with a single speed. He needs a new free hub and um, he's also missing a spoke. So saw that out first. Yeah. And then you've got a general service on a bike come in. Hank, have you ever done a bike fit before? Perfect, perfect. You're going to be doing a bike fit this morning. I don't so know if I have time. Have got you've time got plenty that? of time. I am your diary today. Oliver Bridgewood. Ollie? Bridgewood. Where on earth is oh. Ollie? How We've has been he got here five minutes. Oh. But there he is. Oh, and he's, he's, he's on the already bike. on it. He's yeah, taking the group out today. Fair play, Ollie. So Ollie's been proactive already. He has. Wow. Well done, Ollie. Right. What time? Get, get to it. Uh, Ten o'clock. Right, you guys go, carry go on. Go prep for that. I'll, I'm going to get I'll in the workshop. Here. I'll um, be productive here. Right, Roger. Do you want to buy a bike? Do you want some new shoes? Jersey? Roger? Anything? Okay, you just fill that. So first job I've got is a bike fit. Now I've got young Jacob in today. Now I did notice he has got his saddle facing down a bit. Now I think harnessing all the experience I've got doing bike fits, which is um, none, I think we can help him. Just tilt it up a bit, make him slightly more efficient on the bike, take a bit of weight off the hands. But before we do so, uh, well, let's get Jacob in, shall we? And this is my first time, so uh, go easy. Two lights. Two lights, please. Bear with. That's a good idea, sir. I think that's all yours. A little bit rusty, first day on the job. Um, thank you very much for your, um, yeah, enjoy your lights. First thing I've got to do is go on a club ride with the well, a shop ride. With all these lovely people. Hope I don't get dropped. So I've just been asked by a customer to do a tubeless setup. Um, I've never actually done that before, so I'm just going to give it a quick, quick Google just so I know what I'm doing. Tires are like Marmite. You either love them or you hate them. And for those of you out there who say tubeless tires are just so complicated. Or... Jacob. Nice yeah. to meet you, mate. Nice Hank, to meet you. How you doing? Right, a few things. We yeah. first need to go through a bit of background, you know? Yeah. We need to get to know you as a rider. And then we can transfer all that 
onto this. Brilliant. Not only are you gonna feel more comfortable on the bike, you're also gonna ride faster and you're probably gonna beat Ollie. Easily done. Right, first off. Is that the ultimate goal? Drop Ollie. It's always, it's always the ultimate goal. Scan and put it down. Scan to put it down. Malin, what are we doing? Scan and putting down. Scan. Why? I feel like I'm working in a supermarket. The, the, the till seems to have stopped working. We've scanned three things and already it's gone wrong. We've had to call for help. We've messed it up already. Yeah. Scan, put it hmm. down. Label is up there. Somehow, how many labels do we have there? One, two, two, seven, three, eight, 29. Hopefully we've 29. got 29 products there. Yeah, hopefully we've got 29 products. I think products. there is more. And well, I guess we've got to make sure we stick the right label on the right product. That's very true. I know what they're doing, Shimano. First job of the day, I've roped man on in to the workshop. Pair is going to do it. We've got some tubeless tyres to install. God, yeah, everyone knows how much I love tubeless tyres. Um, shall I talk you through the steps of the process as we go? Definitely. Right, we've got valves, we've got tyres, some sealant. We need some deeper valves. These are quite um, fancy wheels, aren't they? There's yeah. something the other day. Yeah, let's, let's get everything it. unboxed, make a start. So what, is that kind of the normal position you would, you would, you would sit in for a you know, like a two, three hour ride? Pretty much. I'd try and get a bit lower. Yeah. Um, try and keep that. But yeah, if I get uncomfortable, I'd probably get up. Get up higher. there. Yeah. And then are you pushing yourself back on the saddle a little bit? Yeah, I feel like sometimes I slip down, obviously because of the angle of the saddle. Yeah. It doesn't really help. But... So just do some, a few little pedal revs, a few little pedal revs. Let's just see what you... First tubeless setup done. Thanks for your advice, Alex. Um, you did a good job, actually. Yeah, really good. good. Um, we better first, find the customer. Yeah. How much? How much do you reckon you can charge us? About hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. Hundred pounds, euros, or dollars. <laughs> or Japanese yen. Yeah, or yen. We'll find the customer. <laughs> Reuniting with his wheels and tires. Happy days. So I would say your saddle could go up slightly, but what we could do yeah. is when we when we put your saddle up a bit, that should then kind of like straighten out this leg and you'll drive more power through the Brilliant. pedals. Yeah. So what I'm doing here is just understanding how Jacob rides at the moment. And then we're gonna tweak and we're gonna try and get him feeling a little bit more comfortable. But what I really wanna do is kind of get him more comfortable sitting on the hoods. So if you just sit on the hoods for me. So that's the kind of position that we'd like to see you like more comfortable. If you're yeah. riding here, it's basically saying it's a bit too long for you. Yeah, I feel like it's quite yeah. a bit of a stretch. It is, yeah, yeah. Right, let's do some adaptions. So a customer came in saying they couldn't get their pedal to stay attached to their bike, and it turns out the crank has actually snapped completely off and it's still attached to the pedal. Don't have to be an expert to know it shouldn't be like that. It's just about halfway round on our shop ride. And the other presenters, they might be accusing me right now of having a jolly and shirking the hard work of selling and fixing bikes. But this isn't a jolly, this is hard work too. Uh, I mean, I have to work really hard not to get dropped on that climb over there. And going on shop rides, it's an important part of networking and fostering a community of cyclists to help support the shop. This is, the, this is I'm, I'm probably working the hardest. What, what are you here to get? My wife's wheels. Wife wheel, yep. Yeah. Alex has got those. Right. Hi there. Wheels set up tubeless. Right, one second. You're going to need this stuff, man. Yep. Um, so we've had two of these tyres, that and set of valves, and then if you just scan that, because this is the tubeless sealant which we put inside. Got it. Two of these. Times two. Yeah. Oh, not enough in stock. Um, proceed. Proceed, and we needed two, two of miles. those. Lovely. And I believe that is yours. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming in. Yeah, it feels much does that, better. Does that feel better? Yeah, it does. Yeah. And then put the hands on the um, on the hoods. Yeah. So I reckon, mate, we could actually put your saddle height literally up a, up a wee bit as well. Yeah. So you'd, be, you'd get more power out of it. Yeah. It's 
all going pretty well at the moment. Jacob, what do you think? Yeah. Is this your first bike fit? Yeah, it'll be my first bike fit. Is it, yeah? First bike fit from Hank. There we go, mate. Right, I'm going to put it up a tiny bit. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> what is going on here? I've never seen so many chimneys in my life. Chimney, chimney, chimney. We're going to have to do something about that. Let me sort it out. This will do it. That's better. Quite proud of that. Neat. Whoa, whoa, man on what on earth have you done? What do you mean? Cut the chimney off. No one wants a chimney on their bike, it's, do it, they? It, it, that's a... It's a 10 grand bike, man, on. It's supposed to have a chimney on it so that when someone no, buys it, they can adjust the size for them. Oh. Now it's slammed. Well, they want it slammed anyway, surely. Well, Ollie, what, what, what do I do now? Would you believe it? Hank has actually managed to sell this bike to a genuine real life customer. <sighs> I'm only kidding, this bike is pre-sold, but it is getting collected by the customer today. So what we need to do, get it into the workshop, and I'm gonna give it its final check over to make sure that it's nice and safe, perfectly working, ready for when the customer collects it later on. So the, the, the biggest thing when, when getting bike fits is you don't wanna change the position too much. But because you've been riding one year, yeah. it's, it's like everyone's first bike is gonna be more of a relaxed position. Yeah. And then as you get riding, you can then go for more an aggressive because you're kind of used to it. Yeah. But what you really wanna see is your arms to be slightly more bent. Yeah, more. Instead of, instead of, instead of straight. Out. So that's what tells me that the bike may be slightly too big. Right, I don't know how this has actually happened, but we do have a brand new bike here, ready to go to its new owner. So from the GCN and Pronto crew for the day, welcome to your new bike and hopefully you enjoy Lovely. it? Yeah. Hello, Prince. Lovely. Thank you very much. Yeah. Right. Thank Happy you. cycling. Uh, by the way, uh, any problems with the bike, don't bring it back. Don't bring it back. No. no. Um, <laughs> we've got a load of videos, though. Watch those. Yeah. Right. See ya. Ciao. So, Jacob's been my first customer. How have you found it? It's been brilliant. Yeah, it's been it feels, fun. Feels better than it was. Hopefully, you're going to find you can get a little bit more power out and you're a little bit more comfortable so you're not pushing yourself back on the saddle all the time. Go away, come back in maybe a week and um, and we'll have another go and, and get you even more aerodynamic, even more powerful, beating Ollie on all, up all the climbs. Aero games. That's it. Hey, thanks, man. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. So we are in a bike shop and obviously one of the fundamentals of working in a bike shop is we need to try and sell some bikes. Now, I have very minimal experience of this, but Ollie, you tell me you have a lot of experience. So, where yeah. should we start? I've sold many bikes in my time. And let me tell you, the most important thing is that you must listen to the customer. Because you need to establish what their needs are. Under no circumstances, just talk at them. Oh, hi there. Are you uh, hi. looking for a bike? Yeah. Yeah, you come to I the was... right place. I'm telling you, you're like a commuter, actually. Uh, oh, yeah. I could get you a bike sorted with that helmet. If you follow me. Cool, so always listen to the customer, yeah? And then make sure you listen to them some more. Don't, I, get, I can't, I just can't emphasize this enough. You have to listen to the customer and ask them questions so that you can really then use your knowledge of bikes to then make sure that they get the thing that's best for their needs. That one's a nice bike, but I don't think it's got your paint job or class about it. But what we really want to talk about is the is these these are super nice carbon layup. You've got double carbon layup. You've got aero frame set. You've got an aero compact unit headset. You've also got some Durace Red, uh, well Durace Di2, but then we've got Shimano there as well. SRAM Red on that Pinarello there. That's the F12. That's a red black color, which is perfect for commuting. Not only can you put a saddle bag on it, you could probably get. No, you can't get anything else on it actually. Um, uh, we would actually get a nice uh, bike computer. Um, we use Wahoo, it's probably, probably the best one to use. Um, and if you're looking for tires, we're looking at 28 mil wide, uh, I think which should, should do you. Uh, but if you're looking at sizes, um, I could do you one of them, good price on it. Um, purple hubs, might not fit you, but I think that should be fine. Um, it's got some, some deeper wheels. Um, deeper wheels is for speed, 
while you're commuting. You don't want to be late, no lateness. And you won't get lateness on this. This is a super bike. This is like driving a McLaren or a Lamborghini. It's Italian brand, it's Pinarello, huh? Okay, so it's all about listening to the customer. And asking questions. And asking questions. I suppose ultimately we're trying to sell them the best product for what they need. That you, you've got it in one. It's yeah, simple. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so if it's a McLaren, how yeah. much does it cost? Well, this one I can actually do you a nice deal on. We've, we've only got a couple left in stock. Um, and if I'm really honest, uh, this one's going to go real quick. Real quick. So for you, for you, I can do it for 5% um, lower than our IRP. <laughs> Which is what? <laughs> good price, 12 grand. Do it, good price, good price. Right, sold. Sold. Um, oh, chuck in the wheels. Carbon rims. Yeah, carbon rims. Aerodynamic. Yeah. So it's the afternoon. We've got a little bit of downtime in the shop. So it's only right that we have a race. So this is going to be the GCN Pronto Bikes Takeover. World individual, Championships. Individual Pursuit World Championships. Three, two, one, go. Oh, bloody hell. Are you? That was the last lap. Did I just do an extra lap? Four laps. Well, you, you won, I guess. It was God, close. I'm actually really dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, how are you doing? Good day. Yeah, yeah. Busy. How, how can I help? Uh, oat milk flat white, please. Oat milk flat white. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Oat milk flat white. Yeah. <laughs> Way too much foam in there, that's almost a cappuccino. Now, if I was a paying customer, I'd probably send this back. I didn't ask for a cappuccino, the customer asked for a flat white. But nevertheless, I created a road in there. So, I mean, you've got to pay more for that, right? So I'm saying, I'm saying that's about a nine out of 10. So here at Pronto Bike Shop, where it's not just selling bikes, it's not selling clothing and doing bike repair, no. We do strength training and yoga here, and well, I thought I might chop myself into the deep end and take a yoga class. Bearing in mind, I have got some paying customers here, and I've never done a yoga class before. But anyway, we'll start with the basics. It's all about breathing, all right? So team, if you watch me in there, follow as we go. Deep breaths in. Come up all the way to the top of the sky and then walk yourself down, stretching the back of the legs. Cycling's all about flexibility. And then inhale and bring yourself back up, stretching the back of the legs. When you feel a good stretch, bend your legs and come up to the sky. And really focus on that breathing. That's what it's all about. Exhale and bring yourself down into a press up position. Hold that for two seconds. And then what you want to do is, is lie on your mat and then push up with your arms. Now this is Cobra. Oh, we're moving fast, it's all about getting your blood pumping. It's all about your respiratory system and your cardiovascular. Now come back into standing pose. And if you can, just, just push with your right elbow down onto your leg. Just to gonna get... go basically into a generic handstand. So you wanna get the triangle. So head, shoulders, knees and toes, no. And then kind of head down. You want nice straight legs and kind of bring up like that. Once you've done that, bring down and then kind of hold it, right? And if you can, touch your toes on the floor and bring it back up. And just kind of like keep it nice and controlled. Nice and controlled, there we go. And just do a couple. So really focusing on driving that core up. There we go, Charlie, you're next. Oh, Don't know about you today. guys. I, we absolutely smashed that today. Oh, I we've done good. Hang on, right, there we go. Down. Tell you what, high fives all high round. Five. Oh yeah, good job. Yes. Man, oh yes. Aggressive. Yeah, right. I just, not bad. we did loads of good stuff. Yeah. We sold so much stuff, yeah. so many coffees. 
Yeah. How many coffees did you sell? I didn't about, sell any. About a million. A million. Yeah, I drank about seven. All right, that's all right. Oh, okay. Anyway, let's crack on. No, yeah. Oh, who cares? Oh. It's been a long day here at Pronto Bikes. I've got to say, actually one of my hardest days. So I thought, well, I'll treat myself. I made two bike sales, and here at Pronto Bikes, they also do massage and sports therapy. I'd make the most of it. So don't forget, give this video a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Right, where are the others? Oh, tight in there, really. Yeah, really tight there, yeah.